What's going on, everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And as you can see by the title below, we're going to talk about something I think is going to help you. I get this question a lot. How can we tell the difference? Because we want to save time. How can we tell the difference between a man who is emotionally available and unavailable? Okay, so jumping right into this. Here's the crazy thing about it, okay? So I have this timeline here on the beginning, right, when you guys first start talking, and a relationship. And in the beginning, unfortunately, you can't really tell, okay, you can't really tell if a guy's emotionally available or not. And there's several reasons for this. Number one, um, I feel like it's very dormant, right? It's very, it, it, it's, it's deep inside the guy, um, and it hasn't came out yet uh, because it hasn't been um, pressured or it hasn't been um, forced to come out, the fact that the man's emotionally unavailable. And what I mean by this is when you're talking to a guy, whether he wants a relationship or he doesn't, um, he, he, he may not know that in the beginning, at least as an emotionally unavailable man, because sometimes they are good. Actually, a majority of the time, the guy you're talking to, and I have videos on this, he is a good guy. What you guys are talking about and saying is genuine. It is authentic. He does want to get to know you. He is interested in you and attracted to you, right? It is more than just sex. Okay, so everything I'm saying right now is basically like you guys moving along this path. Okay, and the reason for that is, if you see right here, if you can read this, the guy has a desire, he, um, and he desires obviously the assets you offer. And again, it's more than just sex. It's just something I'm attracted to. It could be looks, it could be physical, it could be how cool you are and how fun you are also, right? All that. Now. As a woman, this is why it's so important to get courted. Ladies, if there's anything you can get out of this video, it's this. Make sure he is investing in you. Why? Because it's going to help everything we're about to talk about. That's If there's anything you can get out of this video, it's the fact that you need to have a man who is willing to court you, willing to invest resources into you, right? So time, energy, effort, money those type of things. Now, why do you want that? Why is that so important? Because that is the stuff that paints the can or that paints the canvas, right? It throws things on the canvas, um, painting the pictures, what I'm trying to say, uh, of what this is. It creates context, meaning the things you guys do and say over time that creates the serious vibe of the relationship. Because if he doesn't do this, right, how would you as a woman ever know what is happening? How would he ever respect you? How would, how would this power dynamic go? How would he, like, even, again, how, just how would he, he wouldn't respect you. You're not getting courted, right? So you're gonna be going along all this, and he might not pull away because he doesn't feel the pressure of the context, right? He's like, well, I'm just, we're just having fun. We're not really talking about a relationship. We're just going with the flow, right? But at the end of the day, that's hurting you because you do not know what this guy's about, and this guy does not value you, uh, value uh, what you have or what you have to offer, maybe your time, for example, um, because he's not investing in it. But if a guy's investing in you, it is creating context. And context isn't bad. A lot of women hear me say this a lot, and they're thinking, okay, well, how do I avoid context? No, you don't avoid it. It's, it's neutral. You can't avoid it. If a man is investing in you, which he has to, right, um, it does come at a cost, meaning he, he's investing his resources. It creates context. If you guys are on the same page, right, this is why he wants to do it too, to see where you guys stand. If you're on the same page and you're wanting a relationship, it's going this way, that's good. It's moving towards a relationship. But this is how you can tell the difference between a man who's emotionally available and a man who is emotionally unavailable, is once you get here, and you get here again, by the investment, the context. You guys are going on dates. He's putting forth effort. He's initiating, okay? He's, he's asking you out. He's planning things. He's trying to get to know you. He's paying for the dates. Again, that's all creating context. Any guy can do this over a short period of time. That's why I have it at the halfway point. I'll even say right here. So I usually talk about the four to, or sorry, I usually talk about the eight weeks, right, or two months type of thing. Um, 
where you have to have a talk with a man. I tell a lot of my clients, you will see the flip between maybe week five to week six, um, where the con depends. It can be sooner than that. It can be three and four. It just depends on kind of, uh, or depends on how fast things are going. Okay, unfolding. But you want the man to invest in you because you want him to paint this picture. You basically racking up a bill. He's racking up this bill, having fun, um, not realizing when he gets the bill, like, holy shit. But you know what? If he likes you, that's okay. You guys are on the same page. You're getting validation from each other because of these things. Hopefully, you're reciprocating it in some way, right? Um, so there's that little cycle there. It's moving this way. At at the halfway point, a little past it, if a guy is not on the same page as you, that's where you start to see the flip, ladies. That is where you start to see the flip. And then you get this guy pulling away. Um, let's, let's write it all out, I guess. Pull away, right? Um, mixed signals. You get mixed signals. You get inconsistency. I'm not going to spell it all. Well, I might as well spell it out. Fuck. You know, you, you get all this type of stuff. You get all this, which is another reason, see ladies, there's a method to my madness. There's another reason I tell my clients, you need to be, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw my damn thing down. You need to be uh, talking to multiple men at once. Why is that? Because it's too risky for a woman during this part to take herself off the market, okay, to take herself off the market um, for this guy who we don't even know what the hell's going on. But if she's talking to three different guys, right? If you're talking to John, Steve, and Albert, okay, don't talk to a guy named Albert, fucking Christ, ladies. Like, have some self-respect. If you're talking to a John, Steve, or Albert, okay, and John's starting to act like a fool, okay, well, cool, John. I, I'm not, I'm not going to continue this uh, with... I'm not going to continue this path with you because you're pulling this bullshit. I'm talking to one of these guys, right? He, he has to come back here. He has to come back and invest, or he's still going to desire it, but he has to invest in you and start back from the beginning. That's how it works, ladies. So to answer the question of the video, how do you know the difference between a man who's avail available and emotionally unavailable is you have to play it out. But it, the, the whole goal of all of this is to avoid risk, right, and to seek pleasure, or I guess in this point, or pleasure would be the relationship, right, to seek the outcome. Um, and the, the best way, from Mother Nature's perspective, right, from her uh, game plan, the best way of doing this is to play a very slow, conservative game. Now, that doesn't mean you have to hold out until you're here. That doesn't mean that you have to play hard to get, okay? It just means do not have this stupid ass exclusive talk taking yourself off the market for a guy where we're not even at this point yet. Don't do that just because you like it. Talk to all three guys, have all three guys go through this process and see how far they can go. And whoever gets here, ladies, I promise you, not all three are gonna get here. If they did, then you wouldn't be watching this video, right? So play it out. Women are like, well, I don't wanna date three guys or I feel like I'm leading someone. Shut up, stop. Like, act like a fucking man for once. Act like a, date like a fucking dudes. And it, I'm not saying do this shit, but goddamn, if a guy does not want to take you off the market, he doesn't deserve to have you exclusively. So stop with that fucking nonsense. Stop, with, that's my biggest pet peeve with women. Guys, you, ladies, if you wanna be high value, first off, get my guide, link is down below, absolutely free. If you want my free guide, again, down below. But if you want to be taken seriously and you want to be a high value woman, you cannot make it, I'm not saying don't make it easy for the man, but you cannot, make it easier, like, like skip steps, okay? You can't cut corners because you like the guy. He has to go through this entire process. He has to go through it, you, you know, and, and, and there is battles. There's gonna be ups and downs through it all, meaning he, he's going to have to talk to Steve and Al and John, like they, they have to do that. I'm not saying put them up against each other, but don't take yourself off the market for one dude who hasn't even made it halfway but then you guys do, you find, I had a client, this just happened to her today, right? And I'm telling her this, that's why I'm making this video. And 
it didn't work out. So now, essentially, let me get a different color. Here's another way to put it. This is why I'm changing the color. She wasted this whole time of her life right here. Does that put it into perspective? All that's gone now. All that's gone because you decide to take yourself off for fucking John and you, and you just started talking to him. Ladies, if you want to know the difference, you can't tell the difference in the beginning. You can't, okay? You cannot tell the difference between a man who's emotionally available and unavailable in the beginning. A couple reasons why. Number one, there's the, the context isn't created, meaning there's nothing for them to, it's dormant. There's nothing for them to freak out over um, just yet. Number one. Number two, these guys are not going to consciously admit, man, I'm effed up. I don't deserve love. No, they're going to see a hot ass woman like yourself, hot, high value woman in front of them. And they're going to take action, right? There's no reason for him to freak out yet until he gets here. But now I'm just beating a dead horse. So that being said, ladies, play it out until the end, play conservative past the halfway point. This is when you'll start to see it. Um, talk to multiple men why you're doing it. If you want to get a session with yours truly, link is down below along with my free guide on being high value. I love you all. Take care and peace.